Hello everyone, welcome back to another Roddy Out of Stories playthrough. Uh, we are continuing down the human path today, uh, with today really being a episode about uh, getting into the next mission, uh, slash uh, doing a little bit of recruitment of some of the uh, people within Roddy Out of Castle. So yeah, uh, let us switch over. Oops. I was doing some more huh, before, but what I have to do is flee. Yes. <laughs> Scary D meme Mahama for no good reason. Is that at this hour? Yeah, who is it? Has the monkey overslept? Time to get up. Uh, give me a break already. What do you want? General Dynas wants to see you immediately. This early in the morning? Just get ready and come to the castle, all right? Yeah, okay. No dilly-dallying along the way, got it? <laughs> Whatever. The stuck-up know-it-all. <laughs> All right, you snooty geek! You wanna fight? You're a real-life spark in the morning, aren't you? Huh? Ah! It's you! The funny money weezer! What's that? Don't play dumb! That money you gave me was no good! It had your face on it! I? I made sure it was my good side! You didn't like it? Of course not! Look! Real money has a picture of the king on it! Understand? If he's not on there, it's not real money, see? He's kind of a wimp. Mine looks better. That's not the point! <sighs> what do you want anyway? Don't you know how early it is? Of course! Anyway, I finally found out where Aphelion is hiding. Is that right? Great! Nice knowing you. You see, Aphelion is in the castle! <sighs> the castle? I went to the castle myself, but the guards were there, and they wouldn't let me in. And I suppose you figure I can help you get in. Oh, don't worry. I'll pay for your help, of course. And this time, I'll pay with real money. With the king on it and everything. I promise. Yeah, I bet. Still, I guess I am going to the castle anyway. But I have a feeling that taking you along with me would be nothing but trouble. Oh no, I won't be any trouble at all. Please. Ew, stop that, that's creepy. Please. Okay, okay, just stop doing that, all right? I knew it, that always works like a charm. Uh, where did you learn how to do that, anyway? Alrighty then. Let's be going to the castle. <laughs> God damn it. The hypothesis. Or whatever your actual name is. What do we do now? Good question. Hey, you two. What are you up to over there? Uh-oh. Let me do the talking, okay? Uh, General Dynas asked me to come and see him. The General? Hold it. Who are you? What's your name? Well, I was in the Rose Cochon Brigade for a while. My name's Jack Russell. Jack? Uh, Jack the Dragon Slayer? Our apologies, sir. Please, go straight in. Uh, thanks. 
if I may say so, sir, you look like a real dragon slayer. And your friend kind of stands out, too. Well, that was easy, huh? Yes, indeed. I knew it was a good idea to come to you. How did he find out where they know he was? <laughs> Oh, yes. Aphelion's here, all right. I can smell him. Smell him? Can you really tell? Absolutely. No doubt about it, lad. Me nose has never let me down yet. I'll be fine now. You have business of your own, don't you? Yeah, I guess. Well, anyway, a promise is a promise. Whoa, all this? Thank you, lad. Huh? God damn it. What? Uh... Yeah, I did swap them. Uh... I don't remember if I showed it. I think I did. I did swap out uh, Gerald for Fernando. Slightly higher base powers. Might have better toughness, but. I'm fine with the switch. Uh, I, guess I was gonna switch at you for absolute. Yeah, it's a thing. I'll keep the like, sense plus on. see Jack's face for some of these dump sections. This way. Three. Come in. Thank you for coming. Sure. I'll get straight to the point. I need your help. My help? As you know, Fort Alincia is now under the control of the non-human forces. 
We are currently preparing an attack force to retake the fort. This is where you come in. I want you to lead a brigade during the attack. Me? A captain? No way! We don't have much time. I need an immediate answer. I don't know. Do you doubt yourself? No, it's not that. It's just... What about Ridley? What happens to her? Hmm? Hmm. Is Ridley a target too? Will we have to fight her as well? I mean, Ridley's innocent. She's just been fooled by Gawain. Well, look at it this way. When we liberate Fort Alincia, we'll be able to bring Ridley back home to safety. Yeah, okay. So you'll help me? Well, I do still have to get my revenge against Gawain. Good. Then it's settled. Uh, but I'm not a knight anymore. I got fired, remember? Don't worry about that. We'll be happy to have you back. Huh? Jack the Dragon Slayer has become a famous name around these parts. I don't think there's anyone who would object if you rejoined the knights. Right. What's wrong? I thought you'd be pleased. Look, I'm really honored and everything, but I'm in Van Cor now. I've got friends there. I can't just say see ya and go back to the knights, you know? It just wouldn't be fair to all of them. I see. Very well. You shall lead a unit of your own choosing into the battle. Huh? What do you mean? You shall be a knight, and you can select anyone you like to join your squad. <gasps> really? You have my permission as general. No one could possibly object. And besides, Lord Larks is in complete agreement. Lord Larks? The fact is, Lord Larks thinks very highly of you, Jack. He does? But why would he care about me? He has great expectations for you. I understand exactly how he feels. Wow. So I made this screen because my camera's getting no focus. <laughs> but why? Why did this happen? Is this true? Ridley's joined the fairy creatures? General Dinah saw her with his own eyes. Utter nonsense! We will therefore have to ask you to stay in your quarters for the duration. Stay in my quarters? Are you arresting me? I'm the Lord Chamberlain! The people wouldn't understand if we allowed the father of a traitor to continue serving in government. <laughs> Ridley, <laughs> why? Why did you do this to me? <laughs> So, here you are, Aphelion. What are you up to, hanging around the castle? Not preparing for the changeover? Haven't the dragons killed? What's your game? Each time humanity builds a culture of value, the dragons come roaring in to tear it down. A thousand-year-old city is wiped out in a single night. Why is that? The arrogance and anger of humans will destroy the world. You know that. Sometimes the Silver Dragon and Gold Dragon have to change places as the guardians of the world. The changeover is needed, as you know, to reset the world so it can start afresh. And of course, when that happens, all of humanity has to be exterminated. Tis a shame for sure, but it has to be done to preserve the order of Totaus. But why must the humans perish? Hmm? Dragons don't die. 
Even should they be struck down, their death is nothing but a short sleep. They soon start afresh in a new vessel. And the elves are immortal too. Even when their bodies die, the transpiration allows them to live on. Hmm. <laughs> it is a bitter world. There is no justice. Humanity's lot is a cruel one. Far too cruel. Aphelion, you're not making any sense. What's got into you? Each human life is a fragile thing. It lasts a few fleeting years and ends before it really begins. But slowly, over time, these creatures have built a beautiful civilization. Only to see it toppled by the immortal elves and dragons. Why? If the humans were left to destroy the world, there'd be nothing left of it at all. How can anyone know that? They've never been given the chance. They've never been allowed a future. Time and again, humans build their tower only to see it destroyed by dragons before it is complete. You're talking madness. I have nothing else to say to you. You have your duty, Aphelion. I reckon you'd best do it. I can do it, Dad. You'll see. Okay, so Aphelion is associated with the big old dude. Okay, uh, 17 minutes in. Let's include a few people. It's all that he's training with him. Okay. Um, Probably should have had No 
nobody really here. Let me meet you, man. Hello. Yeah. Okay, go, Charlie. This ship put me down. Yeah, this is gonna put me down even farther. Uh, I need access to dungeons. Walter's wife. It should give me access to uh, Elwyn. for a few more hours. Sorry about that interruption, had you? Take a call. Huh? Hey! The others. Oh, no, uh. 
he's unique. When he's Come on. I think that's the one. Oh. What's it? I'm alright, he doesn't have to. He apologized to me. Out, I just decided to grab my sandwich. Hmm. Hidden here, then the I. eating some lunch people I can probably go and talk to you now those two buggers are gonna be a few in-game hours so I'll be right back folks when I I'll re enter when we get over to Nina. And here we are. Hi, Nina. Uh -huh. Don't find large. Huh? What? Mm hmm? Mm hmm?
Pantheon. We'll be right back, folks. So, having a slight issue of trying to actually get long, trying to find logs, that's the biggest thing. So, um. See if I can find one more thing. I think. Oh. Hmm. 
kitchen. Hi. Yep, can interact. Yeah. Okay. Uh well yeah, this is I'll catch you guys next time, uh, with everything, so yeah. Uh oh actually Shit, I think it's actually too late for uh, uh yeah, it's too late for Pat Patrick and Pat. Uh too late, um, but yeah, I'll catch you all next time, uh, it's gonna be a bit brutal, so I'm uh, trying to get everyone else, but I'll catch you next week with another rounding episode of Radiata Stories, people, I'll see you around.